Welcome to the first Wednesday show of the 2024 school year at TCIS. I'm Fuji and I'll be your host for today. Here are some of the upcoming events this week. First up, the Lord Gratong ceremony is taking place on Friday the 15th at the basketball court with performances from high school Thai classes. So please be there to show them your support. The Week Without Walls is also coming up with trips to central Thailand, Chiang Mai, Cambodia, and Korea to not only explore their culture, but also to have some fun along the way. Now, up first, we have Nene reporting on the three-on-three -three basketball tournament that started earlier this week. From November 6 to November 13, up here at the fifth floor gym, there is a 3v3 basketball tournament happening at the morning break and lunch break. All students are allowed to come and cheer the players. Since you are watching the match, uh, what team are you cheering for? Um, I think I'm cheering the team with Tony, Mr. Matt, and and Eric, I think. And who do you think gonna win? Um, <laughs> um, I think team with Sam will win, but I'm still cheering our grade. Okay, thank you. Oh. Uh, so, hi, what's your name? Um, hello, um, I'm Alex from the freshman year. Okay, so when you're playing, what what are you feeling? How are you feeling? Oh, yeah. well, I guess excited, yeah, and like just fun overall because, yeah, I find basketball pretty interesting. Is this your first match? No, but it's my third one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm Nene reporting from the fifth floor gym for WTV. Thank you, Nene, for reporting. We'll be excited to see who the winner is for the tournament. Next up, we have Sophia reporting on the newly changed elementary school playground. TCIS is giving the playground a makeover to make it safer and more accessible for everyone. The new setup have updated equipment and spaces for all kinds of activities, so students have more ways to enjoy their time outside. How do you feel about the decision on removing and renovate the existing playground? I feel really sad because this playground keeps all my childhood memories from TCIS. I'm very surprised and I'm really glad they did that because like, I've been here for almost 12 years and I haven't seen them renovate the playground yet, so it's really good to change new things. What memories or experience do you have with current playground? When I was a kid, I used to get fully inside this playground. <laughs> and I feel kind of sad because these memories are gonna be gone. Well, there's many memories in the playground. Well, I used to play um, mom, dad, kids with my friends, and we used to play tag and everything, like just everything around here, hide and seek. It's, it's really fun. We still have that memory. How do you guys feel about the new playground? Do you think it would be fun playing inside? Um, I think yes. And there's even a fan there. Uh, a fan there. I think I think it will be fun and like nice to play with for the ESE. I think it will be super fun and the kid can enjoy. Oh, no, I think the new one is better. High school students have many memories in the old playground, so it's bittersweet to see it go. Some are sad while others are excited for the new equipment. Stay tuned for the final reveal. I'm Sophia, reporting from TCIS for WTV. With the newly renovated playground, more kids will have the opportunity to play and engage in activities during break time and lunch time. Lastly, we have Nene reporting from the 360 on the string ensemble concert that happened last week. Here at the string rehearsal, and as you can see at my back, the 7th and 8th grade string student and the high school string student are practicing for the string concert today. The concert will be at today advisory. Hi, can you please introduce yourself? All right, my name is Ian. And what instrument do you play? I'm playing violin today. Uh, what are you feeling right now? I'm very nervous right now because I'm gonna be present. Uh, be performing in 30 minutes. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. 
Hi, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Mai Mai from High School String. And what instrument do you play? I play violin. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling nervous because playing in front of the people that I know is more scary than playing in front of the people that I don't know. Thank you. Right now I'm at the string concert and the high school string students are playing songs and there are many people right now watching. Right now, the string concert is already over, so how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling relieved because we've been playing these three pieces for since like school started and it's really hard. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? I feel so relaxed after the concert. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm Nene reporting from 360 for WTV. game takes 1 minute and 30 seconds to play. Players take turns saying one word to tell a story. Each player had a forbidden word. Players must try to get the other person to say the forbidden word. Uh, my name is Max, I'm a senior and this is... I'm Pama and I'm a junior. During... First... Day... Of... School... I... Walked to my classroom. <laughs> my teacher was very <laughs> strict. So <laughs> I cried. <laughs> <laughs> so the principal called me to his office and I <laughs> cried again. <laughs> You're just going in circles. Uh, before I go back to class, I called my mom. Then I checked my locker. And in. How does and or in? And in. in. Time's up. <laughs> My word is canteen. <laughs> <laughs> My word was locker. Hello, I'm Manal. I'm a junior. Hello, I'm Okhan. I'm also junior. Today, we need to do work at. <laughs> That's everything for today. And if you have any suggestions for the future, please make sure to scan this QR code and fill out the form. See you next week for the new WTV episode.